Toyota. Your Toyota Yaris is giving you the old one, two, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. P0606 and a P0138, I believe. Just bank one sensor two. So the P0606. There's that ECM module, the engine controller. And uh, if your car is otherwise running fine, it's highly unlikely that the entire freaking brain to your car is misbehaving so don't go parts canning canning this just yet might have a cheaper solution because i've found many forums or some forums have said that the downstream oxygen sensor is actually paired with that fault right there so let's replace that safely jack up your car to your uh safe specifications i'm using a jack stand i'm using a ramp and i've got this as my third and final point of failure. The downstream isn't so bad, so get ourselves under the car. I'm going in from the driver's side. Here's our exhaust. And right here, right here is that downstream oxygen sensor. The first thing we're gonna do is hit it with some rust release, penetrance, the heck. Come on, man, <laughs> ruining my video. Anyway, I don't know, maybe the nozzle's clogged, whatever. Just hit it up, get him. All right, then you're gonna break the oxygen sensor loose. I've got the 7 8 inch oxygen remover tool, but a wrench is probably gonna do just fine. So I put it on like this, slip it on, put a breaker bar on it, and then go to town. Might need more PB blast, might need more heat, but eventually you'll break it loose. Once it's loose, you should be able to unscrew it. And if you got this far, congrats, because that was the easy part. Next, you'll be like, oh, wait, how the fuck do I disconnect it? So yeah, this you'll see a grommet here. I already popped it out using just my fingers, but you probably need to use a flathead. Just be careful. Yeah, that's right. It goes inside the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where does it go? So first, we're going to want to remove a battery terminal, the positive terminal. If you are surmising that this is about to get kind of weird, then yes. I'm afraid you are correct. Disconnecting this so that I don't get any weird airbag sensor issues. 10 millimeter socket on that, by the way. Removing the seat, you bet your sweet bippy we are. Now here in the rear, we got them Torx bits that we need sockets for. If you don't have one, I found that if you use these 12 point sockets, they work just fine as well. So two on each side here. What's that? Some high IQ individual already was in here and completely stripped the bolt. Oh, wonderful. Okay, plan B. I'm actually kind of glad that happened because this makes my life a little bit easier, but just have to get a bit creative. So the oxygen sensor, kind of where the door hinges are, that's the same line where it's at. So if you just follow that from here, you can actually, so there's Velcro on the carpet here. And if you kind of somewhat manhandle the center tunnel plastic, don't manhandle it too much, of course. What you'll see is that our oxygen sensor cable, it's actually right here, you see that hole? This is the oxygen sensor cable. And it gets tucked in, oh boy. Hard to see, very hard to see. My best though, it's, hey, that's my face. <laughs> oh right there you can sort of see it there it is you're gonna want to disconnect this sucker disconnecting it is of course a struggle too it's basically attached the whole connector is somehow attached with some plastic clip to this bar but you can rotate it just enough to go here at the top oh, it's so hard to see i'm doing my best here all right you can see the tab that you need to press in. All you do is squeeze this tab where my finger is, squeeze and then simultaneously pull and it should pull right out. With that, you should be able to feed it through, through that hole, the whole connector and everything. And after that, just unscrew your boy. And there we are, there's the whole kitten caboodle. But Bootman, you excruciatingly handsome man, what to do about the grommet? The grommet is all part of the assembly. There's really no way to remove it unless you start snipping wires here, which makes me wonder if that was actually <laughs> maybe gonna be the easier job to just cut and then resolder wires. But that's why you get an o OEM style replacement. So this is a Denso part 234-4069. This is important because it comes 
with the grommet already pre-installed, so you don't have to fuss with this. The, the whole assembly just goes right in. All right, so same thing. We're just gonna fish this whole thing, oxygen sensor first, through the inside the cabin of the car. All right, it's fished through, but I didn't connect anything just yet because we needed to be able to uh, actually, oops, to rotate while we connect it back on. And also, it came with this copper anti-seize put it on. Don't use regular anti-seize. I guess regular anti-seize probably reacts with this or damages or something. This is copper based. So lubricate the uh, the threads here and then screw it back in. All right, we tighten it using our socket. Now we go back up. There it is. I put the push the grommet back in. Connect the connector. I'm going to rotate it back to where I found it if I can. And now I'm going to just put back my you know my HVAC stuff reconnect that put the carpet back it has a bit of velcro here on the strap I'll try to figure out where that came from button it up in here all right insides all buttoned up again more or less let's not forget about the battery though if you watch the whole video then you know that this is at this point then gonna be kind of unnecessary although anytime you're doing electrical work maybe this isn't such a bad idea so yeah still do that let's see how we did let's see if there's any check engine lights no I think we're good wonderful yeah so this is one of those cases where it's like modern problems require modern solutions you don't necessarily have to remove the seat it just requires a bit of a uh, finagling the Yaris is a strange creature because it's so compact that you know there's really no space for anything, so they put things into unconventional and clever places. Anyways, that thanks for watching. See you next time.